Hey, how's it going everybody? Today is more bear and bird in Hyrule. If you didn't already, go check out the first episode of this awesome hack by Mark Kirko. And we will be tackling the castle grounds as well as learning about my interesting fascination with the Mona Lisa. So we got to check out the... Well, we got the, the church we can go to. We got the, the mini games we can do. There's the back streets that do nothing. Hey, Crash, nice cock you got there. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. I just assaulted a man. As usual. I mean, look at me. Okay. Nice camera angle there. It's like actually a cohesive town instead of just... Oh, here's a picture. Oh, okay. Get a lot of Ikumbokum tokens. Alright, what we got in the church? Obviously, we're not picking up jewels. Oh, shit. Hold on. I mean, I, I imagine we need to open this somehow. There is some shit up there, so... There is probably a chance we go up there and that's how we unlock this... this section. I assume that that... either I go up there or I unlock it... that way, which actually doesn't seem to be the case. At least not from this area. Or... it's just you unlock it after you beat it, uh, get enough jiggies or something. I'm sure either one's right. There's nothing in the well! Oh. What's this little section? This is just new. No, oh, it goes to the high. Never mind, it goes to Hyrule Castle. This makes way more sense. I'll take it. It's always good to play a baby game or scary game, uh, scary game, so you don't have a weird nightmares. I, dude, I have, I had a weird light nightmare last night, and I wasn't even fucking playing anything weird. I was playing Cuphead. Fuck, what was the? It was, it was like the weirdest dream ever. It was, it was like I knew I was in a dream, but I was like, okay. The best way I can explain it is that I 100% knew I was in a dream. I was like going through the whole thing and I'm like, this is not good for my dreams. And the, every time I just change. And I'm just like, why, why the fuck am I dreaming this? In my dream. And I'm like, why, how, how is this helpful? And I wake up and I'm like, wait, was I, was I having meta commentary in my own dreams? And the answer was yes. Man, Cuphead's low key weird. I mean, I thought the devil last night um, and a salt shaker cook who wanted my soul I guess maybe not my soul in particular but our friend's soul so yeah a little weird I feel like I'm cheating right now I, I feel like I'm cheating Link could have just done this the whole time but uh I guess he was too amazed for that. A DK Burl? Wrong game. Ah, whatever. Well, I've made it in the castle. Banjo, you're going you're going a little fast, friend. Can I break this door? I cannot. Was that a picture of Germa? No. No, it wasn't. That's Grant Kirkhope. I, I, I thought it was his Red Sox shirt picture. Well, this is officially breaking and entering now. I know, we just... <laughs> we just fucking ripped the door down with... I don't remember... I don't remember fucking Link doing any of this shit. Fucking Banjo don't mess around, dude. 
We're in the throne room. Are we Ganondorf? Am I the bad guy? C collect it. We did it. All right, let me go back to the beginning so at least I can get all the notes. Mm. Zoo is probably gonna eat Zelda, let's be honest. Why would she eat Zelda? She is still a bird. She eats seeds. And last time I checked, Zelda is not seeds. A lot more DK barrels than uh, I remember. I guess I don't know if she is seeds to be sure. You know, I, I don't, I don't really know what's under the fucking headpiece she got. But if fair, you could turn her into a dragon and Tui. Well, that's true, but canonically, dra Tui hasn't happened yet. This is still the first one. Which look at e an emu. Tell me they wouldn't eat human flesh. Does she look like an emu to you? She's about as close to a pelican as you can get. I don't know why pelican was the bird I thought of, because she doesn't look anything like a pelican either. I don't know, I'm a fucking idiot. What do you want from me? Listen, man. I like to believe birds are nice creatures. Except Kazooie, she does suck. Um, but most birds are nice creatures. Bro, have you seen that video of a pelican trying to eat a baby capybara? No, what? I don't want to see it now. That's scary. I like my capybaras untasted. Maybe that's just me, though. All right, I guess there's no funny paintings. We were already in those rooms. Oh, what's up, Jinjo? You didn't make any fucking noise. I, okay, there's a way to get into that room. But how? That's how. Can I break the other one? No. Also, I knew that wasn't Ganondorf from before, because Ganondorf doesn't wear a funny hat. He doesn't wear a funny hat. He's always had hair that's gorgeous and orange. I'm gonna start walking, I'm gonna start putting paintings up in my house and just start putting fucking skeletons inside. I I do the same thing in my house. Oh, I see that you have good, good security then. Crowns are technically hats. When have we ever seen him wear a crown? We've seen him wear a, something close to fucking Tiara in Twilight Princess with his little head dress thing. But that was about it. The fuck did I... The fuck did I just join into? You know, Banjo-Kazooie, Ocarina of Time, Skeletons and Paintings. Ganon doesn't wear a hat because he's racist. All normal conversations for this chat. Don't, don't know what you expect. Okay, that's not the... As long as nobody comes in <laughs> burden their backpack, I think my ho house and possessions will be safe. That's what you think. That's what they all think. And then just a bird and a back, a bird, a bear and a bird with a backpack. All oh, they always find their way in every time. That door looks like it could be exploded. Um, but I can't do anything with it. Also, I think most castles have skeletons that just keep them in the crypt, aka fancy word for basement. I mean, yeah, yes, you sure you're right. Does that look like the crypt? That looked like a painting that the normal hallway people use. Does one use a painting? I mean... It depends on your definition of use. I suppose... You could. Mario did in 64. That's true, I used a painting in a, to bludgeon a trespasser once. Is it really blood? Like, okay, is a painting that good of a bludgeoning weapon? Like, I was thinking more of like, I don't know, jerking off, right? You hand, you grab the, you grab Mona Lisa by the scroat, you know, like the bottom of the painting scroat. You hold it in front of you, you jer jerk off furiously, and then that's how you use a painting. Don't get it up. Don't get, don't get anything on there. It'll be the most expensive jerk off ever. However, 
However, the bludgeoning weapon one is is terrible. Wait, wait, you're gonna hit you have to hit it on the frame. The frame's gonna break. If you hit it on Mona Lisa's beautiful face, it's just gonna go right through the fucking paper thing as canvas. I mean, I feel like there are better methods for jerking off. Well, I mean, what if you're attracted to Mona Lisa? The Mona Lisa is behind like a foot of glass. In this scenario, it's not, and it's in your hands. It's like a porno mag, but it's way more expensive and is in your hands and is in your house. I don't have to explain myself to you. <laughs> Don't ask me why I have the Mona Lisa in my house. The only reason it got famous is because someone else stole it. That's true. I feel like if I'm holding the Mona Lisa, I have bigger things to worry about than getting my rocks off. But in this situation, if you're already there, if you're already in the situation, you know you're fucked. So you're like, might as well, right? That's, that's where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Okay, the world ends, okay? Meteor coming down fucking at, I guess, less than light speed because you could see it. So I guess, like, let's say the speed of sound. It's coming up. It's coming down. What are you going to do? You're already fucked, right? Oh, I got to say goodbye to all my, my friends and family. They're a little too far away. I guess let me just jerk off. I don't think I want to go down in the history as the guy who ruined the Mona Lisa. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Because I already said in the situation that you wouldn't jerk off onto... <laughs> the Mona Lisa, you would jerk off past it because it'd be too expensive. You're not listening to my words, okay? You're only listening to select words. You gotta listen to the whole sentence, friend. <laughs> God, I really dig myself into a hole. Also, what better old fucking timey uh, painting is there to do it with? Right? What am I gonna go? What am I gonna go fucking jerk off into the the screaming man photo? Why is he screaming? Is he seeing my penis? That's gross! I like my painting masturbation sesh to be consensual. And me and, Mo me and Mona know how to get it done. Oh, okay, there we go. That makes more sense. I had to actually hit the... the door. Okay, cool. I, like, barely didn't make that. Was that only to get up there? No, there's this little crispiness of platform right here. Your fault for turning off you. Find the Sunflowers by Van Gogh. That's my final answer. Okay, listen. You guys are making fun of me. There was an old peasant man who didn't have an old peasant wife, okay? He can't look up on the old peasant internet. It didn't exist. El oh. <laughs> Ye old Pornhub wasn't there. What else was he supposed to do? Have a prostitute come and have sex with him? She has scurvy or something. All he could do is either draw a picture on the wall with his fecal matter and try to fucking jerk off to that, or, or go to the nearest museum. If he, if he wasn't old peasant, he wouldn't see any old for the rich. I, he, he, maybe he's got old, maybe he's got fucking peasant paintings. I don't know. He'd use livestock. <laughs> well, according, according to Kisses, dogs playing poker answer, maybe they would. I know scurvy isn't contagious. I just couldn't think of a fucking STD that was good for olden times. Any STD? They didn't exist back in the olden days. They just thought warts were like God's kisses or something. They didn't know. This guy was a hitch from the beginning. This is this is this is this is, this is normal crash conversation. This is nothing new. That didn't mean it didn't exist. To them, it didn't matter. To them, to them it didn't matter. All the peasant men and ladies wanted God's kisses. Genital warts, but they wanted God's kisses. And you 
of the old peasant race was just less than compared to the old peasants with God's kisses on your dick. Come. <laughs> hey guys, this is Editing Brian here. I'm here to tell you that I accidentally muted myself for 10 minutes. Um, and frankly, I think that might have been the best thing I could have done. I somehow dug myself into this hole with peasants and Mona Lisa and everything else uh, really deep. So I think we're all just going to enjoy just some gameplay for like a minute or so of me failing to climb this tower and let's just all forget about my sentences about Mona Lisa maybe maybe that's for the best god this video will not get monetized <laughs> How long have I been muted for? How long have I been muted? Wait. <laughs> I've been muted that entire time. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I was talking about gamer presidents. I was talking about Barack Obama. Fucking our president's knowing RNG. I'm not talking about how difficult the thing was. Man, I I wouldn't have fucking figured it out if I didn't have to go pee. God damn it. I'm gonna go fucking take a piss. I'll be right back. I'm back. What were you thinking about? Wow, Y'all really don't like my jokes, huh? Not even responding? To be honest, yeah. I was just like, oh, this what these are not hitting. I kind of just accepted it. Because that's the kind of person I am. I'm just like, okay, okay, I just got. I guess I'll just get better jokes then. How the fuck am I gonna get up there? You know, I might just be able to jump this. <gasps> oh, wow, I could. I'm actually more impressed I was. Really, I'm one away, huh? Hello? Little man? Little guy? Little man, little guy? Okay, everyone's welcome to join, I guess. I'm collecting all these notes, but I really hope that I can actually, like, finish the area. That'd be cool. It'd be really sad if I couldn't. Dwarf! Oh my gosh! Why is his hair on fire? Oh, he's just chilling in the dungeon. I already got that treasure, dipshit. Can I break all of the doors down? What is- hold on, wait, 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 what is this? Oh, you can climb the pillars in the church! Interesting. Interesting. Dude, how I'm playing through this, dude, we, uh... 
One might actually need to give this way more time than I thought. I thought maybe two streams would be enough. No. No. And I, I so we're gonna be playing this tomorrow is the plan. But then after that, we're gonna be playing through Spider-Man and Mario Wonder. And then we'll probably we'll probably end up playing this a little bit in between Spider-Man and Mario Wonder. But I'm just really impressed that it's, this is as long and as big as it is. Take that one out of context for me. Is it a specific pole, or can I just climb any pole? No, it looks like I can just climb any one. Seven hundred and sixty-five, eh? Okay, yeah, that one's that one's more or less the entire world. Jinjo! Well, I still need to open up all these fucking doors, which is a little annoying because I'm gonna have to go and get all the fucking jiggies again. Go. Uh -huh. All right, well, what can I do with this? Because we do still need the ability to bomb the shit out of some of these doors. Case in point, this door. They didn't like that. Oh, you know what? Hold on. There might be a way to break into this building or something. That's probably what it is. Bingo, that's what it is. Anything down below? Nope. Just, just gross, gross water. That's what we call poor water. Poor people water. Wake your ass up! Anything up here? Anything at all? Anything past that? Anything cooler than that? No. Cause if we just take it strays. Big ugly vulture. Turn me, daddy. What do I turn it to? Oh, that's not helpful. It'd be cool if it's like a bomb chew. Oh, I just literally become a bomb bag. Okay, that works. Free Jiggy, too. I'll take it. Um, I think there's only, like, one or two places where I can actually use this. Oh, I can just jump through the hole. That was the last thing I expected. To be 100% honest with you, fucking Rickroll... Okay. I think this brings me to a honeycomb. I do like the song as well. It is genuinely in my playlist. It's a good song, but the meme kind of made it annoying. 
I still like it. It's a big ass boss key. That's almost like the uh like the Mario key. Oh. Nice. Oh. Run a tap rap. Oh, sorry about your family, man. Secret levels. Three secret levels. So I've only explained this once. That is the Mario cave. That's what I thought. There are three special secret areas hidden in this game. Okay. If I told you, then they wouldn't be secret. Now would they? However, the pictures on the walls are clues to their whereabouts. Don't worry, I can co compensate for you for your lack of detective skills. You can unlock more clues with notes. I'll give you one hint. None of the entrances to these areas are inside the game's world. Good luck. Your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up. Thank you. Well, that was only so useful because I thought that was going to be, like, I don't know, where we get the last seven or so fucking notes that we need. But nope. But we need seven more notes, so... I do still have to find them. So they gotta be in the Hyrule Castle somewhere that I missed. That is also on top of the other stuff that I've missed, like... What is it? A few more jiggies? Yeah, three more jiggies. Okay. So I wonder if the other transformations are gonna be items as well. You know? Like, we have bomb bag. Is there... I doubt that we'll see an arrow. But we might see, like... A boomerang that can fly. Um, bomb choose might be the ant. That could be like the ant from the with the tree area. Or no, that was in the second game. There's definitely gonna be a flying one because there's the bee. What well, what other transformations are there in, in in the first game? It's a really good question because I don't remember. Um, I don't know. Okay, so don't go that way. Listen, worst case, I just need to find these damn jakeys. If I, if, if the other, um, things need to wait, they can wait. But I need to find these damn jakeys. Or the other things. The notes. Anything else? Shit, no? Words, words, words. We know the... Um... Jinjos are done. It's... The... Pots. The pots are definitely one... Jiggy. But I don't know about the other one. Yeah, 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 I know, Mumbo. Turn my ass back. The only other place I could think about to check it out would be down over here. I can't break these doors. I can't go hang out with Ganon. Wait, that's something. Wait, 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 wait that's something. Hidden wall. Okay. That makes more sense. Whoa. Where am I? Oh. 
Excuse me? Please well, a little scary. Am I dead, dead? Oh. Okay, cool. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, cool, 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 cool. is this area? I don't remember this area from the first game. And by this area, I mean the fucking Ocarina of Time? I gotta get up there. How am I gonna do that? You didn't get hit by any of the eggs there? Okay. Alright, we gotta hit that vine. That secret wasn't too bad. Like, whatever. Get up. Alright, two more notes here. And then there's only one more. Yeah, beautiful. Well, we're doing it again. Nah, it was annoying. Yeah, it was whatever. I mean, there is a mumbo thing, and I'm gonna need it. But still. So that's nine. Alright, okay, whatever. And then, what, what, I imagine we just need, like, one or two more pots? And then that's it? That's the area? I hadn't even noticed you were muted. I thought you were ignoring us. No. You'll see the story the other day, the bear broke into the lady's house? No. That's crazy. Was it... Was it Banjo-related? Did Banjo do it? He stole lasagna from the freezer and left. I mean, actually, like, fucking alpha bear... Actually, alpha bear fucking behavior, dude. If I was a bear and I broke into someone's house, I would 100% steal lasagna, too. I mean, that is... That is goaded bear behavior. I'm saying it now. It's true. No, that's crazy. As if he was the bear that did it. Hey, guys, I promise I'm not the bear that did it. Alright, then we got this one, then uh, Castletown should be done. We can head back to uh, Kakariko Village. We can grab the last honeycomb. That'll be done. And then I guess we can start heading our way over to uh, Death Mountain, which I believe would be next. Beautiful. And it said the, the secret levels are not, and I quote, are not in any levels, which means they have to be in the Hyrule Fields. And I'm really curious if those three secret levels are, like, levels levels or if they're just like there oh there it is it's like this corner that one was fucking really hidden but two levels completely done now technically three if you count the lost woods but i don't think they count it so, normally Death Mountain would be next. Uh -oh. 
but I doesn't look it doesn't look like I can open that door. I mean, we could go check it out. It just doesn't look like I can open it right. Now. Hold on, something's down here. I'm all about little secrets. What is this door? What? How much do I need for this door? Uh, I have enough. Well, okay. That was hard to see. Ooh. Oh, that's Kakariko. Yeah, Crash sounds nice. <laughs> Mario! Oh my god! <laughs> what? Guys! <laughs> oh my god, Mario's fucking dead! Oh my god! We didn't even start yet, Mario! <laughs> oh oh no! <laughs> how, do I, how do we tell Princess Peach? What the fuck?